Sadness is one of the essential truth of life and it's a part of that which makes us whole, holy, full, you know. In our fullness, we are both happy and sad and what that means is we understand when we are happy and when we are sad, it's just one aspect of the colossus universe just laughing back at us because our happiness and sadness is based on our perception of ourself and our perception of the self is clouded by the judgments we have lived with we have been given we have um which has arisen through the dark phases of our own life and the light phases of our own life. Sadness is not something that is negative. Sadness is a part of life that can teach us about ourselves from the way that we have not witnessed before. Sadness, sadness is the keys to the infinite realm of the universe. It's the keys to opening the deeper, deepest depth of our own being. When we are in that depth, what we can see is that there are, there are parts of us which needs healing. There are parts of us which needs love and kindness and acceptance. You know, we haven't accepted so much of ourselves that there is so much of trauma in our physical body and it will manifest in million ways. It manifests in trillion ways because each cell is reacting to it it's 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 cellular division is converting that energy into something that our body feels stressful with our stress is not something that is induced by someone else our stress is something that is induced by our own self by our unconscious self by our own blindness to the fact that we need to heal and what we need to heal with is love and love is neither happy nor sad love is the fullness of life love is the capacity to embrace life so how do we embrace life when it's such a illusionary place you know it's an illusion because we make it an illusion it's an illusion because we let it be an illusion it's an illusion because we don't wake up from our hypnosis of life and what that means is our hypnosis of self and what that means is our hypnosis of being alive and our conditioning which is attached to it take out the conditionings and you can never be sad take out the conditions and you can never not be love you will always be love you don't need to love someone to be love if you can love yourself then only you can love others and to understand sadness you must understand life <laughs>